comes around here. That's where Catalo said we'd find what he needs to build himself a new arm. I should let him know I'm around. Hey, Catalo? I'm at the Zenith Lab. Ready to come over? I'm on my way. Aloy, I appreciate you meeting me here. I'm happy to help. Did Gaia mention where exactly in the Zenith Lab we'd find what you need? She mentioned the chamber where you found Beta, and the database that lies within. She said it'll help us find the knowledge and components I require to build a new arm. At least we know where to look. We will have to be quick about it, in case the Zeniths are watching. Understood. The lab's up this way. You okay? I got this. Scrapping the specters for parts. Should we dispose of them? Or we can sneak past them. Your choice. Entrance to the lab is by that tunnel. Come on.
The anime did this? Hard to believe, but yeah. up ahead. Should try something other than that. Found Beta in is up ahead. Lead the way. Here. Now we just need to find a way to access the database Guy was talking about. Varro mentioned you found Beta in one of those pods. I would hate to be locked up inside such a thing. There's barely room to breathe. I think I find what we're looking for. Let's hope it holds the answers we seek. I'll download the database to your focus, so you can search through it later. What about the components? They should be somewhere on the... Spectres! For the fallen marshal!
Zenus might send reinforcements. We need to finish up and get out of here. The components should be somewhere on the second floor. I'm right behind you. We need to search the entire floor. I'll keep a lookout. Don't want any more surprises. Good idea. Vent. Might be a way out of this room. Components have to be here somewhere. Please tell me the components are in there.
I should go back and give these to Catalo. Let's trigger chain reaction. Found the components? See for yourself. You have my thanks, Aloy. Something wrong? I was just thinking about what it will be like after I build the arm. Will I feel different? Whole again? <laughs> Idle thoughts. They can wait until we're back at base. You go on ahead. I might want to take one more look around, in case there's anything useful. Very well. I look forward to putting what we found to good use. Walk with the ten. You're back. Good. Before we talk, I wanted to give you this. For helping me heal the land gods. Plainsong is in your debt. Thank you, Zo. You deserve much more for all you've done. May the land always bloom in your steps. And... yours? I assume you've been looking into Demeter now that Gaia's merged with it? Yes. It's been humbling to know that the seeds I carry in this pouch came in turn from the seeds saved for Demeter in the Old World. It gives me hope that the cycle of life will prevail now, just as it did before. How to go with the Chorus after we fix the Land Gods? They were shocked when I told them that our lands would soon be on the mend. I thought Fane's eyes would pop out of his head. But of course they had no choice but to take it as good news, even if it meant all their preaching about meekly accepting our doom was exposed as rot. To be honest, 
I found the conversation to be highly enjoyable. I'm glad. You deserve it. They're lucky that you never gave up on saving them. I better go now. Be careful. Braving the wilds as reckless as ever, are we? Me? Never. How's it going with the arm? It is nearly complete, but I'm still adjusting the fittings. Soon, I must test it. Looking forward to it. You probably want to get back to training. Be safe. Savior does. Oh, hi. Uh, that sounds bad. Not again. 
and with these lights about, I almost forgot we're here for the Dell. <laughs> that one. Your health is my business. Maybe following the truth out of you, but bad at Just who I need. You know her? Great. Then tell her that going out there is a bad bet. Well, you tell him. He better crank out what he knows before I pummel him in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, Della. What's going on? It's my sister, Boomer. She ran off into the desert. We, uh... We had a fight. I told her we'd discuss it in the morning after we both had time to cool off. But when I woke up, she was gone. And Spectacles over here was the only one to see her leave. But he refuses to tell me which way she went. You can't go striking off into the desert. You'll get lost. And if thirst doesn't kill you, the vanishing dread will. You know what happened to the Delvers who went out there last? No, you don't. No one does, because they didn't come back. Well, what about my sister? She's out there all alone. Maybe she's a sunk cost. <laughs> I'm asking you, Red. Help me find her. What's the vanishing dread? That's what Stemmer calls the machine that stalks the sands out there. Sometimes you'll see it in the distance. A stationary blur of metal. It'll stay like that for hours. And then the next time you look, gone. Like it was never there. But what kind of machine is it? Don't know. No one's ever gone close enough to find out. A few of those Delvers went out there once, but all they found was a bunch of sand dunes. But I don't care what it is. It's not gonna stop me from finding my sister. The argument you had with Boomer? What was it about? Well, it started out as the same old spark and boom. I found her tinkering with one of my prototypes, trying to add explosives, as usual. And when I reminded her that the last time she did that, she nearly burned the whole place down, she just looked at me and shrugged. Then we got into this whole scorched out mess about why we had to leave Chain Scrape and come out here. Why for the love of the Forge, she has to blow everything up. And what did Boomer say? Well, that's the thing. She didn't say anything. She just sat there, ignoring me. Even when I went to bed, not a word. And then... When I woke up in the morning, she, she was gone. She's never done that before. But knowing her, she's gonna get in some kind of trouble out there. And that's why I need to find her. What brought you and Boomer out west? Ah, uh, that. There was an accident in Chain Scrape. An explosive accident? Well, you know how Boomer is. So we grabbed our tools and skipped town. Heard about a caravan striking out west after some passage got reopened. Decided to join up. But why come out here? You could have gone anywhere. Eh, can't really go back to the claim, and anywhere else is a little too... inhabited. At least out here, there's less chance of collateral damage. Besides, this place is gonna be a destination one day, right? Dad always said, get in early. If you think I can be bribed, know that I only take shards up front, no credit. Maybe we got in too early. If Boomer's lost in the desert, I might be able to find her. I'm coming with you. All this is my fault anyway. But you'll die. Where did you last see her? I suppose if you're with her, the odds of survival do go up. I thought I saw her heading towards the metal arches east of here.
Then that's where we'll start. Let's go. Sister! Over here! I see you have a new orb ready to go. It looks, uh, assembled. Yes, yes, as promised. <laughs> it's a veteran of numerous test flights by yours truly. All successes, no interruptions in the air. No issues at all? How did you do it? A complete top to bottom reimagining of the orb with an eye toward the ultimate in comfort and reliable air travel. And a stronger tether. Two this time, you know, in case one breaks. Smart. And safe. Peace of mind is included with every ascent and descent. I guarantee. What do you say? Word got around about our last adventure. Having you go up with me again would, you know, encourage the more skittish in the crowd. Maybe later. I'm sure you'll have plenty of other customers soon. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I was hoping we would fly again, but... Hey, you're always welcome back, Aloy. Anytime. Scrap in the sand. Maybe from the arches. Boomer's handiwork? Let me search for tracks. There. Tracks. Looks like they lead out into the desert. No. We will. Tracks end here, but looks like Boomer set out some traps around the ruin. Guess it's not gonna hurt it much. If we get rid of the machines, maybe we'll find out.
Let's take a look in the ruins. We can figure out the This is Boomer's favorite hammer. She always makes a fuss whenever she misplaces it. She'd never leave it behind. Maybe she had to leave in a hurry when the machines moved in. Or something worse happened. Hey, we don't know that. Let's look around. She might have left another trail to follow. Hold on, Boomer. We're coming. There. Looks like she headed towards the hills. Well, let's go! There's some kind of wreck up on that cliff. How did Boomer get up there? Uh, broken ladder. Must have collapsed as Boomer was climbing. So how are we gonna get up there? This way. What was this place? I don't know. It looks abandoned. A shelter. And some kind of device. From Boomer? Looks like some of the components were stripped. She must have brought it up here to tinker after the machines moved into her camp back at the ruin. But where could she have gone from here? That wreck down there looks promising. Well, if there's one thing I know about Boomer, is that she can't resist a shiny pile of salvage. Come on, let's go down and check it out. there, at the base of the wreck. Tools. But she found another spot to tinker. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, she was working on something here, all right. But where? Oh! Oh! Boomer? 
Gotta finish this. Boomer! What are you doing? Too late. Boomer, what did you do? Let's blast through it. Never mind that now. Here they come! Hey, Boomer? Yes? Your sister was really worried about you. Look, I know you must still be angry, but you can't run off into the desert like that. I didn't run, and I'm not angry. Y you're not? No, why would I be angry? Be because of our fight, be because you ran away. I didn't run. Well, you left me. I'd never leave you. You're my sister. I had an idea, so I went to find the parts. See? A weapon. This is just the payload carrier. The real secret are the boom discs. Throw one at a machine, slice and dice, and then it comes back until you throw it enough times, and then it goes boom. At least it's supposed to. I can't get it to come back. Ah, <sighs> here, let me see. That's why. Pin here's off. Just needs a little cable around here. Done. Here, Red. Give it a try. No, wait! Try it on the big machine. This way. And there she goes. So you really didn't leave because of our fight? No. But you left camp without telling me. You were sleeping. Why didn't you wake me? You said you didn't want to talk until the morning. Well, yeah, but I meant about... <laughs> I didn't mean What literally. about the big machine? Told you she'd be back to the big machine. How did you find your way to that old room? I saw it when we left Camp Nowhere. And you remembered how to get there? Yep. So what's this big machine we're after? You'll see. It's just down there. Nothing here. Just watch. Ta -da! Vanishing we'll hang out here. Show me God.
Bursting sparks, flying metal, ba-boom! You okay? Ever since we left the claim, I figured I could just hammer it into her head to quit it with the explosions. Everything would be better. And after your fight, you thought you lost her because you were too hard on her. Turns out I was wrong about that, too. She doesn't see the world like I do. Where I see a problem, she sees a way to blast through it. And I guess that's okay. I wouldn't have gotten her back without you, Red. Boomer is lucky to have you. As for the weapon, keep it. As thanks. You ready to head home? I think I just got a new idea for a prototype we can work on. With explosions? Oh, you bet. Yes! 